Hey there, it's Roma Waterman here and I want to share with you a prophetic dream that I had this week that I felt was very significant uh, to the point where I'm doing a video instead of just writing it down, which is what I would normally do because I wanted you to see my face and hear my heart. And I know that I'm one of probably many prophetic voices that are sensing what I'm going to share right now about the Aussie prophets, Australian prophets and what the Lord is doing in the nation of Australia my nation and so I wanted to share this dream with you and just share what I felt the Lord said to me because it's impacted me very significantly and I pray that if you have a heart for Australia if you are an Aussie prophet if you are a person that is praying about the prophetic voice being released in Australia then you would be blessed by this so in the dream I was in my car I go to park and burrowing next to the wheel as I park is a little old wombat and uh, if you're not familiar with what wombats are it is an Australian iconic animal and it was burrowing in the ground next to me and there was a whole bunch of other things that happened in the dream that I won't share today but this idea and this this picture of the wombat was very it just weighed on me when I woke up and so for days I just sat with it and I began to ask the Lord Lord, what does this mean? And process it. And this is what I felt the Lord shared with me. I've got my notes here that I'm going to read for you. And I felt it was very significant for the prophets and the prophetic voice that's being unleashed in Australia. So when I had this dream, the first thing that happened when I woke is I started to talk to the Lord about it. And he said this to me. He said, the wombat represents the Aussie prophets burrowing and going deep. Many don't see them. They don't make a lot of noise, but they are going deep to dwell and they are a different breed. And so I was very encouraged by that. And as I continued to pray, I started to do a bit of a study on wombats. And I have to tell you, this has got to be the craziest prophetic word I've ever released. But I'm going to just be faithful and share what the Lord showed me as I was studying wombats. I'm going to look at my notes again so I started to pray about this and I actually saw a picture in my mind of a spotlight coming from space and some hands sort of pushing the spotlight on the earth and spinning the earth until it got to Australia and focusing the spotlight onto Australia and I feel that the Lord's eye right now is keenly on Australia that there is a greater measure of anointing and power that is being re revealed to reveal the kingdom right now there's something fresh that the Lord wants to do in our nation I know I don't need to be a prophet to discern this that many people are saying this but I do feel there's an urgency for me to highlight it as well so that you recognize hey everybody's saying this for a reason and that we need to recognize it ourselves so I started to journal this spotlight and the wombat and so I wrote down some of these thoughts of what I studied here is a study a prophetic study on wombats number one they burrow deep they know how to dig deep. As I wrote that in my journal, the Lord said this to me. He said, the Aussie prophets know how to dig, dig deep to mine the treasures that I have for them. While others dig the topsoil, they go deep until they find the rich, deep soil where the nutrients are. And this is is where real growth can occur. Father, let us be people that dig deep, that goes deep as possible, as deep as you want us to go, Father God, that we would not be satisfied by just being on the surface in ministry, in family, in church life, in our workplace, in Jesus' name. Number two, their hide is thick. What do I mean by that? Well, actually, wombats, their hide is a form of, of protection nothing can penetrate the hide there's a, a a way that the wombat can protect itself by using their hide and as I thought about that shaking my head and having a little laugh the Lord said this to me he said you are stronger than you think you are when you speak up you will be protected nothing will harm you so step out with boldness now what do i mean by that you know lots of things happen to people and we don't understand there's like there is harm that comes to us but there's one place you know i don't understand why these things happen and why people have to go through the things that we go through 
but we will not be harmed. Our spirit will not be harmed. You can speak up and not be afraid of repercussions when you stand and you declare the work of the Lord. So Lord, let us be a people that are strong, not just in heart, but in nature, that we would be bold to speak your words without any fear of repercussions in Jesus' name. Number three, wombats have a slow metabolism. It takes them a really long time to digest their food, a really long time. Like probably they have one of the slowest metabolisms of of any animal. And this is what the Lord said to me when I started to read that when I was studying about wombats. He said this, the Aussie prophet knows how to eat the word, but digest it slowly. They take their time and they allow the word of God to nourish their body for the long term. They are not interested in a fast food quick fix. Father God, may we be a people that knows how to digest not just your spirit, not just to have encounters, but we would be deep in the word. We would know how to uh, uh, expand the scriptures, that we would understand the scriptures in greater measure, that as we receive your guidance and your words through scripture, it would come into us and we would digest it slowly so that it would nourish our bodies and the body. In Jesus' name, amen. Number four, wombats are unassuming. You know, they're not pretty. They don't look like the kookaburra. They don't look like the kangaroo. It's it's rare to see a wombat. But when you do, all of a sudden, it's just there. They suddenly arrive without anybody noticing because they don't want to draw attention to themselves. And I heard the Lord say this. He said, while many look for the seemingly pretty things in the next move of God. I will position you in such a way that you will be at the right place at the right time. You will take people by surprise because I am the one who will position and reposition. And friends, I had a real sense that there's people that are going to be watching this video and you have been cast aside. Maybe you've been cast aside because you've you've sinned in your life or you're feeling like you're too old or you've done something that's kind of made you sort of move to another, you know, you've moved left in, uh, instead of like increasing in your anointing and stature. And I hear the Lord saying to me that he is positioning and he is repositioning and nobody is going to be left out in this move of God. And so stand up and understand you do not need to have a platform to have a prophetic voice. You can actually be unassuming and declare and decree the words of the law wherever you are. And it will just take people by surprise, but do not disqualify yourself because you feel like you are an unassuming person or you feel like you're a person that is not for a platform. We need more non-platform prophets in Jesus name. All right. Number five, this is a weird one. I really didn't want to share this when the Lord revealed this to me when I was reading about wombats. I was like, God, please don't make me share this. But he said, no, you have to. So I'm being faithful. So laugh along with me. This is one thing I found out about wombats. Wombats have square shaped droppings. And I just was like, Lord, why are you highlighting this to me? And I heard the Lord shout these words in my spirit. He said, you can't put a square peg in a round hole. And I heard him say it with such authority. And I felt like he said this. He said, my Aussie prophets don't fit the mold. They look different to the rest of the prophetic voices globally. And that's just the way I like it. So my friends, no one can box you. Don't feel like there's something wrong with you. If you don't fit, it's exactly the way that the Lord wants it. And I wrote this down, be a unique imitator of Christ and don't try to be what you think a prophet should look like because you cannot be boxed. Yes, Father God, we just thank you for the unique Aussie spirit. We thank you that you have made us 
different, Father God. doesn't mean we're better. It doesn't mean we're less. But you have made us uniquely Australian. And Lord, we embrace that. And Father, we even repent if we have wished or tried to be something else. And Lord, we say we embrace the Aussie spirit. We embrace the characteristics of the nation that you have placed us in. And we say, use us, Lord. We will not be a round peg in a round hole. We are happy to be square pegs in a round hole in Jesus' name. And then I heard finally these last few comments I want to share. I heard the Lord say this. He said, everyone wants to be like the kookaburra or the kangaroo because they are a symbol of beauty and strength. They are the national emblems of Australia. But I am saying in this hour, be like the wombat. Go deep, be strong, spend time in the word and don't chase the trappings of what a successful ministry looks like. Do not try to fit the mold for I am calling you to something much deeper, says the Lord. You are not to look like other international ministries. You must be uniquely you, and this will cause a ripple effect across the globe. My prophetic people, you have not missed the mark by being different and carrying a different expression. You are not behind the rest of the world and you have not failed. The voice of of the Aussie prophets is rising according to my timing and rhythm, carrying my imprint on their unique voice, says the Lord. Amen. I pray that blesses you as much as it blessed me. Be strong, be Aussie, be prophetic today.